morning, Joe D'Amico, Jefferson County. Um, Commissioner Austin, I wanted to thank you for taking the signs down in your car. I know you're sitting center court out there, so I appreciate you taking out the campaign signs. Um, uh, Commissioner Sullivan, you and I have a lot in common. We're not sleeping good at night. I know you, uh, you know, next week you're going to find out whether or not you got a job. And for the last three years, I wake up every morning wondering if I got a job out there at security services. So I know what you're going through, and I can relate. So if you want to talk, uh, I'll sit down and talk with you. <laughs> um, uh, the thing getting, when we stand up here, we say the pledge. I know that there's a few folks that uh, sit down and don't participate, but I know that you do. And, you know, the line, liberty and justice for all, has hit me pretty hard this year. Um, you know, back in 2005, when you guys went into executive session um, about SSNW, and, and David Alvarez sat in that executive session, and you guys issued a stop work order um, on security services, it was later found out that uh, David Alvarez was, was talking to hearing, hearing examiner Bertag the entire time. And that disturbs me. I've asked you guys time upon time, we could go back in the record, to open this thing, look into it, make it right, and nobody does anything about it. Nobody sits down and talks about it, nobody reaches out to talk with me. I can't even get my commissioner to come out and see what all the great employees at security services do in, in Discovery Bay. So I want to remind you guys that I got 900 registered voters that signed a petition that said that they wanted the county and the county commissioners to work with security services to find a resolution for our business. And I'm going to remind those 900 voters here in the next couple of days of what they signed. I'm going to have our dispatchers go ahead and make calls to them and um, say is that they kept their word. Has the Board of County Commissioners kept their word? Have they worked with security services? A couple other things before I run out of time here. Um, I like the idea about the Public Defender's Office. Um, I know that was railroaded last time. John Fishbach ran out of time, no negotiations, so you guys were forced to sign a deal. Um, Denver Shoop is right on. I'm getting calls all the time, from people trying to put fences up, signs up, can we get signs? Why don't you just let people dump out of the dump for free? That'll solve that problem. We could cut somewhere else. In the gun range in your budget, I saw that the Sportsman's Club in a residential area out there is charging the county $2,500 to, to shoot. You know, but I'll let the county sheriff's department shoot out of my place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.